The reason why you are old, the reason why you are awoke at this particular time and you are interested in this knowledge to sit through this is because the God that's in you is thirsting to remember. You're trying to remember what you were in previous eons. That's the only reason why you are here. And you're, because your light is on, you're the only ones that's on the planet right now. Now remember that now. You, can, you, can, you, can you fathom that, that you walk around on the planet, that you're the only ones alive? You understand what I'm saying? You're the only ones alive. And it is up to you to cultivate your soul, because that's the only thing that's going to give you nourishment, not the shit that's made by dead people. You see what I'm saying? So one is made of soul, dust, spirit, and soul. The other one is made of dust and spirit. Mm. One is made of dust and spirit. And the other one is made of dust. Now, and these, they didn't say no animals. They say human beings. Now, you got to deal with that. Now, look at this. The one made of dust. Apparently, you know who the hell that is. <laughs> we don't even need to even go into that. Then you have one that's made of dust and spirit, which means that you, which means that you are dealing with something that would be a miscegenation of a miscegenation of the white races amalgamating a certain group of black people till you would get what you would have in population of the world like your Arabs. You see what I'm saying? But why the white people, the white people are created. That's a different thing now. We, we, we've proven that over and over again. The white people are created. You see, in here they're talking about the dust, so they're talking about something like the Arab, not misconstruing with the black Arab. So they're talking about something like the Arab, and they're talking about something like a, a Mexican. You got white Mexicans, then you have semi-white Mexicans. That would be the ones that would be made of spirit and dust. And then you would have a black Mexican, which would be the, the descendants of the Mayans, or what you call it like that, which is very few left because they killed them all off. But your black Mexicans also, well, the Mexican is nothing but an Indian. So basically they have killed off most of the black Indians in, this, in America. Like I told you at the first beginning of the lecture, how is it that all of the pictures that they show Geronimo sitting bull in them is blacker than us? Now, but now every time they show you a doggone Native American, He's a white man with a fucking um, Tonto wig on, like that cracker that used to be on Daniel Boone. They spit, that nigga spent ten, they, they, that wig that he wore cost ten thousand dollars for that wig to get a good one. Back in the time, that, that cracker from Daniel Boone, a white man in a damn wig, whatever that cracker name was. You see what I'm saying? So there's three species of human that they're talking about here. Three species of human that they're talking about and, and all. And so these are the stuff in the spirits. It says, then, okay, who is the name of Jesus Christ? 3.32. Let's, let's look at this. 3.32. Uh, and maybe this, maybe this, the, you know, when I give out these, these things about the, the, the stuff on money, it usually works for the people. This don't work for me for some reason. But it usually works for mainly, mainly everything. It usually works for everybody else and stuff like that. Uh, but, but look, the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is a private name. Christ is the anointed. The public name, therefore, Jesus does not exist as a word in any language, but rather the name in which is called is Jesus. But the word Christ is Syriac, a Mesus, is the Greek Christos, is probably all others have, according to the particular language of each, uh, uh, is the public name and the private name. So they're saying that the reason why Jesus does not exist as a name because it's not supposed to be a name. It's supposed to be that of a, of a, of a, of a body, of an organ or a vessel. That's the mission between Jesus Christ. And so what they did is they came in and made this person's name Jesus Christ and they messed it all up. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, all are in Christ. The anointed Christ is within him whether human being, angel, or mystery, and the Father. It says, excuse me, Christ is in each, no, Christ is each within him, whether human being, angel, or Father. So the reason why they had to kill these Gnostics off, because these Gnostics were saying that that's some bull jive, y'all talking about this particular person over here. And so they killed these particular people off. Uh, 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 now, 
Resurrection must precede death. So here they're saying that we got to be resurrected before we die. Those who say that the Lord first died and rose are mistaken. For the first, for the first arose, then died. And if he does not first get resurrection, he will not die as he lives, but, the, but that person would. So what they mean here is, I think it's got something to do with us right now. We, you are actually, you have actually been resurrected. Now, whether you backslide or whatever, that's just a part of your process of battling this physical world out here. But for the mere fact that you are sitting up here and in here and getting down with this knowledge and not thinking I'm going to hell and not scared and not worrying about how much I done cursed and shit like that and all this kind of thing, and not really worrying about the superficial things and basically just thirsting out the knowledge, you are already resurrected. The next thing for you to do too is to ascend. You see what I'm saying? So you have already been resurrected and uh, uh, you know. all. Now look at this. The precious is hidden in worthless. No one should hide a precious element object within an expensive thing. Yet often, sometimes, has kept bad sums of something in, the, in something that is worth a penny. Such is the case of the soul. The precious thing, and the precious thing, and it is come to reside in a lowly body. So they're saying this that they wouldn't put nothing precious in something that's worth nothing. They would put it in something that ain't worth nothing. So they're saying that your physical body ain't worth nothing. Now, why do they say this? Why do they talk hard on the physical body? Because in here, they're going to talk about the fool. And the fool in the Gnostic scripture is the white man. Why? Because they understand that what they're talking about is us as far as because we're dead people. So they're talking about a people that their origins of that of idiocy. So... In here, they'll tell you that the fool is, only a fool would fall in love with the physical body. They say that, Christ said that you must be acquainted with self. They say, what is self? They say, self is, this, they say, self is that which is invisible and inside of you. It's the only thing that you're supposed to be trying to unravel the mysteries. They say, the fool is uh, intrigued with that particular thing that he sees. So they'll talk about the fool in here, and the fool is surely the origin of the fool because they're not talking about conditions. Because see, they're talking about purity of original soul. See, they don't get into what your conditions are. We're all fools in the condition, because, but that's not by our choice. You understand? But they're talking about a fool. They're talking about one that, that whatever he does, and no matter how much knowledge he learns, he's still going to be a fool because the only thing he has is a physical body because he, he's made of dust, and that's it. So they're not talking about you because in here they select, they said that the person that we're not talking about is the sacred seed of Set or Soot. The sacred seed of Soot will be redeemed in the end no matter what. He has to go through suffering, he has to go through trouble, but he will be redeemed in the end. Never say anything about this particular sacred seed. Since you have the seed, they say the seed is hidden within you. And in so much as the outside, they say you do not live at all. There, there's no, you never existed as far as your physical life. You had a house on down, you know, you had a house on Fair Street, and you did this kind of shit here, and you went to college, and your grandmama did that shit. That don't exist. You see what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, you know, I, I, I respect my family, but I don't treat my family in the same way as stuff that's so much important to me. You know what I'm saying? And this is not being negative. It's understanding and in actuality none of our traditions never existed the only thing existed is that's a house that gives activity to house the original god which is in me while it is asleep but now since it's awakened none of that shit don't make no difference no more all the pride all the traditions all my goddamn memories it don't mean nothing to me acting like a damn fool you understand what i'm saying on all this kind of stuff here and all the good times and all this kind of stuff so this is what they're talking about here the, uh, uh, that's what the seed is talking about as far as the, the revelation of the seed and all. So they're saying it is worthless for the simple doggone fact that the physical body is something they wouldn't hide nothing because they had to hide the, the spiritual seed from a dollar brock because he said he was going to kill all of you. And then he sent his evil spawns down here. But the key to that is the seed that is in you because they say he's very arrogant to this day. He don't think... Looking at you physically, and you, 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 you are loading him because you're in a physical body and you're trapped. He don't think that you're going to rise. And so she's now here. In